Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're gonna do some shopping. I am gonna go to Home Goods because I am in the process of fixing up my office. I don't wanna show you guys too much because I wanna do like a office tour when it's done. But yeah, we're gonna do some shopping. And um, before we go, I wanna tell you guys about this hair that I'm rocking because I know you're looking like, what is that on her head? Yeah, <laughs> I kind of felt the same way. I wanna do a quick review on this hair because I got it from Black Hairspray. This is, I have to stop car right here. So this is the um, MLF 163 shadow. I have it in color number two. And when I saw it on the site, I thought it was really cute. Let me see so you guys can really see it. And I saw someone else do a review on it and it was just like really nice. It looked like super edgy and everything. So I was like, oh, I really want to get my hands on that one. But it's not, <laughs> I feel like somebody's grandmother right now with this hair is not really giving me that sexy edgy look. But the style is cute. I love how it has, you know, these flips and everything. It's really cute but it does have two like long pieces in the front i did cut them down some but it still looks a little off it was like swooped under my neck so i'm just like that's not really cute so um yeah i just wanted to tell you guys about it um i haven't been getting any shedding the parting space was pretty decent but i did go in and tweeze it a little bit and add my powder you know the usual when it comes down to wearing these units to make it look more realistic but um yeah, it's not really much to say about it because it is one of those units that you just, you know, take out of the pack and go. The styling is done. You really don't have to put put any work into this um, unit. Oh my goodness, it's so bright. Hold on, let me fix it. Oh, that's a little better. But yeah, you really don't have... Oh, I see why it's so bright. There we go. So um yeah, like I was saying, you don't have to put much effort into, you know, making this unit look like this. But I'm not crazy about it. It's a cute unit. Uh, don't really have much more to say because there really isn't much to say. Oh, the texture is like, a, I would say a very slight yakky texture. I, I love the texture actually it's really nice it's not too shiny and this is a really nice unit if this is like you know your kind of style I'm not saying it's like ugly or anything it's just not working for my you know it's just not working for me but um yeah this is the unit guys great for work definitely a work unit if I was still in the military this would definitely be like a go-to unit because I can't have like hair I'm going past the collar when you're in uniform so you're either wearing a bun or you're wearing like short hair like this but yeah i would more than likely cut this some more but if i was you know still in the military this would definitely be my go-to unit but um i'm not anymore so i want to be able to wear nice nice hair edgy hair trendy hair and uh, this one it's not doing it for me. I do recommend it if this is your kind of style, but if you're looking for something that's more edgier and, you know, this isn't really going to be it unless you're good with, you know, customizing these units and if you want to put the effort into it. Me, I'm lazy, so I don't want to style a unit that is supposed to be styled already, you know? So yeah, I just wanted to do a quick review before I head out on this unit again i got it from black hairspray i will have the information in the description box if you want to get your hands on it so yeah we're gonna go i think i'm gonna go to dollar tree too because i've been seeing some people hauling some new bolero products well some like new scents i'm just like oh yeah i hope i can find some but yeah let's go guys hey guys welcome back so i did a little bit of shopping for my office because i am redecorating once again because I just wasn't satisfied with how I did it last time and um yeah I'm just gonna turn it into my home office before I was gonna make it you know a living room slash home office because this space is a living room but we don't really use it we don't really need a formal living room we have a family room and that's where we spend most of our time when we're just hanging out as a family watching movies so there's really no need for a formal living room so I turned it into my office which I'm going to turn it back into instead of doing the office living room combination. No. So I just wanted to share these items with you guys. And we're going to start here. So I picked up this really beautiful pillow from Tuesday morning. It was, let me see the tag, 
$14.99 and I thought this was so cute I decided to get this because I want to do um, mixed metals in here so as you can see on my sofa it's it has the silver nail heads and then this chair that I got from TJ Maxx has golden nail heads I really wanted something with silver so it can just blend and I can just stick with you know silver metals because I really do love silver I love gold as well but I was just trying to do all silver for this space but I say you know what everything I'm finding is gold there's just like gold everywhere so I decided to just go ahead and mix the metals so I'm going to be doing silver and gold in this space and I got this pillow to put on the couch to kind of bring in the gold so that it's not just silver here and then gold all over here. But yeah. And as far as this chair, I got it for $144. They did have it marked down to $160. But I was like, you know what? It has some scratches on the legs down there. You can't really see it. But you can see like the fabric here is fraying. So I asked if they would take, you know, take off more. And they did. They marked it down to 144 and that's something I recommend you guys do when you're shopping at stores like TJ Maxx, Rawls and places like that. When you see these items that's you know out of the box just sitting there on display, make sure you check it for any kind of damage. I don't care if it's like the tiniest tear. They are willing to take the price down even if it's just a little you know a little bit of damage that you can barely see. They will still drop the price for you guys because it wasn't made that way so um yeah just you know don't be afraid to ask them to discount the price even more no matter how small the damage is but yeah i was able to get it for 144 i am so excited about that because i really need an office chair and then i went over to kirkland's and picked up some items so i have this wall art i love that it has like the gold in it so it can really tie in because you can't see gold and silver so it definitely ties in the whole mixed metal look that i'm going for in here so yeah i love these they were on sale for 104 but i got it for 75 because they had sales going on for President's Day. And then I have this over here. This is a cabinet that I got from Kirkland's as well. It's so beautiful. I love it. It has more than enough storage. Yeah. It's a lot of space. And um, it does come with a shelf. You can put like a shelf um, inside. I need to put it <laughs> it's right here I need to put it on let me see if it has the original price on the tag I think it does okay so oh wow I did not know it cost this much so the original price was $3.49 it was on sale for $2.10 but with all of the discounts I was able to get it for like no more than 150 so I'm like super excited about that guys I love going to Kirkland's to find like furniture pieces like this just like the dresser in the kids room I was able to find that for like under 150 as well and the original price was like you know up there <laughs> it was way more so yeah definitely check out Kirkland's you can find some really nice furniture pieces like this for the low okay and I think I have one more thing to show you guys yeah this <laughs> mat that I've been trying to get my hands on for the longest and I finally found one at Kirkland's it was on sale for ten dollars but of course I only paid like seven something because of the discounts so please hide packages from husband oh yeah all right day two of shopping so I went to Ross and I found this because I just needed something for my bench outside and these cushions can be pretty pricey. I really wanted to get something that had more of a geometric look. But, you know, spring is right around the corner. So I said, let me just get something nice and colorful and cheerful. And I picked this one up and it was really affordable. Actually, oh no, this isn't for a bench. Oh, no, I have to take that back. This isn't for a bench. This is for a seat. Okay, never mind. I just picked up um, two items from TJ Maxx. So I got this beautiful piece here. I love orchids. So I definitely wanted to get this. I love the base of it as well. 
really pretty. And what I am really excited about is this ottoman. It was $30. Oh, this piece here was, I believe it was like $16.99. Yep, $16.99. This one was $29.99. So this is it here. I think it's going to look really nice in the space. The blue is an exact match to the rest of the blue that's in the space. The accent pillow, the blue inside of this wall art. It's great. I'm going to put it in front of this chair. Um, I am going to get like a smaller coffee table because I was using a bench before but I want to put this bench somewhere else I'm going to put these curtains up in here as well these were in my kitchen so I'm going to put it up and see if I like it in this room because I really want to like just redo the kitchen well not really redo the kitchen but just change it so yeah those are all of the items I hope you guys enjoyed watching if you did please give me a thumbs up and I will see you in my next one Bye, guys.